Hey everyone, welcome back to my another video about Fast API. In this section, I will answer two important questions. Number one, what is the fastest Python backend framework? And another is that, what is the best framework to develop an application? Be with me to answer this question. First of all, I want to talk about fastest Python backend framework. For this purpose, I'll compare three most famous Python backend framework, Django, Flask, and FastAPI. For finding fastest Python backend framework, I'll use Tekken Power website. Tekken Power website uses different test files that can help us to find fastest Python backend framework or any other uh, framework such as uh, Node.js and uh, PHP, Laravel, and etc. One of the parameters that Tekken Power website measure is best response per second. Best response per second means maximum number of uh, response that a specific uh, backend framework to return in only one second. Okay, uh, we want to check it uh, for uh, three different uh, Python backend framework, Django, FastAPI, and Flask. We start with Django. As you can see, Django framework has 359 uh, rank in this table and return 15,000 uh, response per second. Now we check it for Flask. Flask uh, has a 370 rank and it return only 10,000 uh, response per second. That it is worse than Django. Now we check it for Fast API. Fast API has a 247 rank and uh, it return 552,000 uh, uh, response per second. It is really better than Django and Flask. It is uh, two, three, or five times better than Django and uh, Flask. Now I want to check uh, how it can be possible. The key difference between Fast API, Flask, and Django is that Fast API uses a synchronized function. A synchronized function is a new feature of Python 3.7 that make it possible to create a synchronized task in Django. If you work with Django, for sure you know that we used Celery for creating concurrency or asynchronized task. Uh, but in Fast API, we use built-in async function for this purpose that it has higher speed than uh, Celery. But what's the meaning of asynchronized task? Asynchronized task uh, in one line means that we not stay for tasks that we don't need it in the next line. Uh, you can find more detail about concurrency and asynchronized task in Fast API documentation concurrency section. In the next part, I'll talk about another reason of this speed. Be with me. Welcome back. In this part, I want to do answer another question that what is the fastest Python backend framework for developing application? Uh, based on Tekken Forest, uh, Starlet is the fastest Python backend framework uh, because it also uses uh, asynchronized task. After Starlet, Fast API is the fastest Python backend framework. Uh, but why we used uh, Fast API instead of Starlet? Fast API created based on Starlet. Uh, then uh, Fast API uh, can't be uh, uh, faster than Starlet. Uh, what what uh, Fast API uh, take take us uh, some features such as auto created uh, documentation and also uh, validation from uh, with Pydonic uh, that it uh, increase our. Uh, speed of developing uh, and uh, at the same time fast api and starlet doesn't have uh, much and significantly difference in speed of uh, response for this feature uh, i prefer to use uh, fast api uh, 
uh, in the other hand, uh, Django has a lot of uh, built-in class that help us create application very fast. For example, we don't need to create authentication. It has built-in user models that help us uh, create application very fast. Uh, but uh, it is really hard to learn about all of class of Django. Uh, on the other hand, uh, Flask uh, also uh, has the same time for uh, developing as uh, fast API. Okay, in this uh, section, uh, we talk about what is the fastest Python backend framework and also we answer this question that what is the fastest Python backend framework for developing. Thank you for watching my videos. Uh, uh, if you like my videos, please don't forget to push a like uh, button and subscribe my channel. Push ring bell button and uh, don't forget uh, to follow me on GitHub uh, for supporting me. Don't forget to share my content with your friends. We'll come back soon.